Welcome back. Many thanks for staying with us here on the show. 2.5 million sanitation workforce, 500 Zoom Lion bins, $10 million Ecobank cash support in an ambitious recycling plan. That sounds like the most ambitious mission yet to deal with the country's crisis head on. Well, it's been two years since President Akufado promised to transform Accra into the cleanest city in Africa, overtaking Kigali, Cairo, Johannesburg, Casablanca, among others. But not much, honestly, has been achieved halfway through the target. But today, the Church of Pentecost, in partnership with Zoom Lion, has given the vision fresh life. The church will send all its 2.5 million members to the ground and is already inviting other churches to join the campaign dubbed Environmental Care Campaign. To contribute to the transformation of their nations. Environmental Care Campaign is planned to be tackled in four main categories. Education, cleanup exercises, community-based initiatives, and other activities. On the education, this is what we intend to do. In this intervening area, we shall seek to focus on attitudinal change as we highlight on some unhealthy practices that contribute to environmental degradation. Open defecation, noise pollution, improper disposal of waste, poor handling of pests and domestic animals, and unfriendly environmental means of livelihood. We shall also seek to educate our members and the general public on the existing environmental bylaws. In this regard, we have already organized leadership training for our lay leaders. That is our elders, Dickens and Dickness, 100,000 of them already on, the, on environmental care. Additionally, we have produced 300,000 brochures on environmental care to be used in the public education. This has been translated in eight local languages and also into French and English. Again, the 2019 Bible Study and Home Cell Manual of the Church of Pentecost will feature about 10 lessons on environmental issues. Clean up exercise. Dick's approach seeks to instill in members the discipline to be physically responsible and involved in the care and cleaning of the environment. This will take place at all our home sales levels, at our assemblies, districts, and at our area levels. In addition to the above, there shall be other activities such as a bi-monthly cleanup exercise in public places at the district levels, provision of beans for all mission houses, church buildings, homes and workplaces where our members are, tree planting exercises at church sites, mission houses, and other specific areas. This will be done in collaboration with the Forestry Commission in the various districts. We shall use Pentecost, our periods, on the various radio stations to teach about cleanliness at least once every month and the use of our social media platform to promote the campaign with the hashtag #CleanGhana. Today's launch unveils our strategic plan for the environmental care campaign and our commitment to pull all our resources together to see the environment well catered for. As the chairman of the Pentecost Church of Ghana. Now, uh, chairman of Jospon Group of Companies, Joseph Sian Ejapong, uh, whose company Zoom Lion is partnering the church to undertake the project as usual. And he said it over and over again that he sees waste as a valuable resource rather than a problem. You know, this magnitude has been launched in this country because this is the end of all campaigns and this is going to solve the sanitation issues in this country. In the year 2012, the World Bank estimated that poor sanitation caused this country 420 million Ghana cities. And that is about, um, also this, and in 2012, the World Bank really estimated it was about 290 million, which is about 1.4 billion Ghana, uh, Ghana cities each year. So this is the year, what it costs us. I think the church position and the church divine uh, call of all of us to make environmental a serious issue is that it's divine. 
um, ways has to be looked at today that can lead Ghana to the fortune and glory in this country. In Ghana, we have so many resources. One is gold, diamond, oil, and so many in cocoa. Today, God is telling us to add waste as one of the natural resources that he created for us. And so, I humbly want to plead that by the power of God, add waste. Government should add waste as one of the natural resources. Compare waste to oil, and you will see that it will change the fortune of this country. And the reason being that very simple. When you compare waste to gold, you need so amount of money to try to extract gold from the ground. And it has a limit of years that to expire. Whereas waste, you need little resources, but you have thousand years. Waste never get exhausted in this world. You always have waste generated. When you also compare waste to oil, you need a lot of a billion of dollars to be able to get to the ground three meters, five miles down to get oil. But waste, you don't need it. But you also will have more waste all the time. So when you compare waste to some of the natural resources, waste is a value that we have to look at it. If you look at it in that sense, then you will take care and then the campaign will be a reality. So in the studio, I have representatives from the two organizations to help us uh, discuss the scope of this particular campaign. What really are we looking to achieve? Tangible targets we're looking to achieve. But before that, we have the mayor of Accra, Nia J. Soa, who also was at the event. He gave an account of what the AMA has been doing so far in tackling sanitation. Indeed, His Excellency the President has directed that issues of sanitation are cross jurisdictional and it does not matter where the food is, it does not matter where the waste is. An assembly with resource and capacity should move in there to go and deal with it. In the greater Accra region today, the president has bled a vehicle called Assemblies Without Borders. What it means is that if there's a waste in Ashaman, and Tema has resources, Tema should move in to help Ashiyama Municipal Assembly to deal with it. It is in this regard that assemblies today in Accra have made some significant progress in the area of waste. But we recognize the fact that His Excellency the President has set the standard so high to the extent that we cannot tout the progress that we have made because we have not gotten there yet. We came to meet in Accra over 40 heaps. That's the mayor of Accra. Let's kick the conversation off already. I have here in the studio Sophia Lisa, who is group head uh, of group head for communication for the Just Bond Group. Ma'am, you're welcome to the show. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Also here with me in the studio is Apostle Samuel Gakbeto, who is a coordinator for Environmental Care Campaign, which is the campaign that they've launched today, I believe. Yeah. Right. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Let me start by asking you, I'm coming to the Pentecost uh, Church. I mean, this should be exciting news for all Ghanaians because this is a problem we've been dealing with and it doesn't, it just overwhelms you. Okay. Just talking about it overwhelms you. So it's exciting that the Pentecost Church because right. the church has a whole lot of people and it is good for people have said that it's good for the church to begin to push some of these uh, agendas so let me begin uh, from asking the Pentecost church how did you get to this idea did it just you know did you just did the chairman just wake up one day and said look we have to do this because we're dealing with a, a, a filth problem or are you really having filth problems which is what opened awakened you to this okay thanks thanks so much for for having us in the studio. We are really grateful to God for the privilege he's given us to launch out the national campaign, which uh, we think would lead to a cleaner Ghana and a greener Ghana. Right. Now, Chairman Eric Nyamete is our new chairman. He was elected in May this year mm -hmm. and was hand, I mean, took over leadership in August this year. Now, in his five-year vision, he has a five-year mandate, five-year vision, he has possessing the nation, equipping the church, 
to impact the sphere in the public sphere, private sphere, okay. with values and principles of the kingdom of God. Now, he's bringing our attention to the fact that the church has a dual identity. The church exists to worship God, but also to serve the community. And therefore, we cannot hide in our auditoriums in the name of church without making any impact in the community. Right. And so in the five-year vision, the church, the chairman is looking at uh, releasing our members to move into the community. After we've gathered on Sunday, from Monday through to Saturday, we should be able to effect change and impact the communities in where we, I mean, where okay. we live and the so workplaces. So if I understand what you're saying properly, every Sunday yeah. after church, yeah. Church of Pentecost members will go out to clean Okay, Is all right. That it? No. Okay. So I'm giving you, 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 you asked me where, where the vision where came from. So I'm giving you the background. Okay. 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 So we are being equipped in church mm -hmm. to re and released to serve the community. Okay. Okay. So serving the community will involve in the workplaces where we serve. I mean, we, we, we serve in the workplaces, we serve in our homes, we serve in our communities. Okay. And one of the key issues among many other things that we have outlined to do, mm. is to engage our community with issues that is overwhelming us. Okay. And one of the issues, obviously, has to do with sanitation. Okay. Why do Actually, you think we're environmental still here? care. Well, why do you think we're still here? Why do you think that, despite the many years and the all kinds of interventions that have been introduced, the president himself saying that yeah. he wants Accra to be the cleanest and everything, that we're still having to deal with this problem? Because if you find the problem, I believe that you've, you've dealt halfway with the solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I mean, what the, does the church think, or the campaigners, for the, the, those who are... The brain behind this campaign, okay. what do you people think is the problem, right. the challenge here? Good. So one of the major things we think is a challenge have to do with attitude. Okay. All right. Attitude. I mean, Ghana is 70% Christian. And mm. uh, so if you're talking about filth, it's not just about the 30%. You're mm. talking about probably the majority of Christians. True. So how have we used our pulpits to help our people understand that the earth okay. belongs to God our Father? Okay. And how to take care of that property that belongs to our father. Okay. So we are coming with, with I mean one of the one of the one of the things we want to do is really teach from the word of God what does God expect us to do regarding okay. our environment. Okay. And then when we have done that, then we will have to engage our people to take care of the I mean the mess we have created. <laughs> and then maybe from there we'll see how it will begin to change. Okay, I'll have Ghana. you talk to us about how long it's going to be, the nature okay. is going to be, but let okay. me bring Miss Lisa in here. Um, what, what exactly is going to be the role? I mean, we've heard of the bins, 500 bins, and then the Pentecost Church is providing or giving you the, uh, the workforce. Is, yes. that, is that correct? Yes. Apart from the bins, exactly what role is Zoom Lion playing? Okay, so thank you very much once again. Um, when it comes to Zoom Lion, it's not just about provision of the bins, okay. but we also have personnel who have been trained and are well equipped in cleaning. So they know how to clean. So they will help the church to okay. do the cleaning. So are they going and to we, train the people? No, we're five? going to work with them. Okay. We're going to work with the church people. So wherever the church is having a cleanup campaign, for instance, on Saturday, 24th, mm -hmm. the church is moving to Kaswa. Okay. To do a massive cleanup exercise, okay. and our personnel are there to support. It's not just the personnel; we're providing the equipment, the logistics okay. that is needed for that campaign. Right. And then the bins that have been provided, we're helping the, the Kaswa municipality to mount it on some streets okay. with concrete, so that nobody can move it. And mm. so, when pe whenever people are walking by the streets and you have some waste, you can easily find a place to litter, to, in, to some a bin to put it in. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so that's the role that Zoom Line is playing. Yes. Uh, and, and to and help this. with the education, because okay. we, we, this is something we've been doing over... A exactly the, the point I was coming to, yeah. because this is certainly not new to Zoom Line. Not at all. And, and Zoom Line has been doing this for so long. What would you say to those who say that, well, Zoom Line has been doing this for so long, but we're still having the same problem? Does it mean that Zoom Line has not been as effective as we would all expect it to be, which is why we're still dealing with the problem years after all the intervention, including the Zoom line intervention. Yeah, I, I mean, it's funny. It's almost like saying that, why is it that people are working in a soap-making uh, 
factory or something and tell people are then they are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay. the reality is the attitude. Mm. The reality is the attitude. That's why we are happy because Zoom Lion, when we started, we'll go to churches, we'll go to mosques, we'll go to marketplaces, we'll go to... Um, We'll go to the state lorry stations and mm. stuff like that. Do you still that. do that? Or we still do. We still do. Recently, we went to Medina to do some education campaign there like okay. that. But the reality is, as Osofo said, you people know are not changing Ghanaians are religious. Mm. And it's funny that we bring God to church on Sunday. After church, we say, God, stay here. We're coming. Eh? We'll be back on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we leave God there. Now, we've yeah. reached a point where we want the church to add its voice to this campaign, this right. attitudinal change thing. True. Because people have to take it from the point where Bible says, we, by the renewing of our minds. Mm. And we have to take waste management, environmental care, the totality of environmental care, as a renewal of mind thing. One of our pastors said, look, God has made us stewards of this earth, mm. not owners. If you are a steward, you know that you are taking care taking of it care to of give it. an account at some point. Okay. And that realization, that consciousness, have to come to people and then we can take it to the, the okay. next level and that is where the church is going to help. so the campaign is basically to bring people to that level of consciousness exactly. where you come back to the point that you are a steward and that you're supposed to keep clean what god has given you but the thing is that we keep our homes clean so we're christians we go to church we'll keep our homes clean but we know that zoom lion or we know that government has to take care of the debt so we'll keep our homes clean and we'll push it out we'll push the rest out there i don't know how you're factoring this attitude change attitude not change into the campaign if you can run us through how the campaign is going to run for how long right. and exactly what targets are you looking to achieve so that when you finish we can uh, uh, hold you to account and say you said you wanted to do this just like the president has said and everybody's holding him to account <laughs> 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 well that's it um thankfully we we are looking at um like um, our chairman rightly said in the voice note you put there are four specific areas of the project the first one had to do with the education aspect. Okay. So what we have done is um, every year we do an annual training for our lay leaders. We have over 100,000 lay leaders. Okay. And this year, one of the courses they had to study was creation care. Okay. So we have equipped them, we have trained them, we have released them to be able to do that. Now, the next one we are doing is we have produced, yes, we have produced a brochure that's, um, highlight saliently the issues that we want to engage with as far as environmental care is concerned. We're okay. looking at noise pollution, we are looking at open defecation, we are looking at proper disposal of waste. Okay. We are looking at um, uh, responsible livelihood. Because speaking about how to manage the waste, one mm. of the things that people do elsewhere okay. and, 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 and is that they, they sort their waste. And it's, it feels so simple to me. Right. And, and, and this is, again, back to the attitudinal problem. Right. I, 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 I lived in the UK for a okay. while. And whilst I was there, even Ghanaians, like yeah. Ghanaians that I will visit, yeah. even though there are options for them to sort their waste, they still won't sort their waste. <laughs> It is, it is. But then if we begin to push this, because I've seen that we talk about waste management, but we don't seem to be focusing on sorting the waste. Because if you have papers, you have boxes, and right. you sort them out, then right. you can easily deal with that. Right. And then, so I don't know. Maybe I, I should go to Maybe the let, let me just add for that, that answer. So okay. one, one, of the, one of the things we are pushing for, because we realize that it's, it's the reality, how to store the waste. Mm -hmm. There are many households in Ghana where we store our waste in, in rubber bags yeah. and then we throw it when it's raining <laughs> because we are not sure even when we put it somebody will come and collect it for us so government probably will need to rise up more regarding efficient waste management companies hmm. that would collect the waste when we store them okay. but the first thing is that each household mm -hmm. and its workplace needs a bin where we can stock the waste uh, i mean we, we may even, if we are even able to achieve that, that is a huge milestone. I mean, then we can move on to even looking at, I mean, the sorting out of those waste. Yes, because I, in, I, in many places, uh -huh. people have no options, so they just throw it anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, let me let me not push it. <laughs> let me not push it too much. But I, I I should come back to Zoom Lion with this particular question. So you've been doing this for so long, for many years in this country. Have you reached the stage where you're encouraging people, those who have your boxes for uh, your bins, for example, about how to sort their waste? Because I think that it will even make the work easier for you. 
Um, that is how it looks like. But to be honest, as Asofo said, you want to move for one before you get to two. Are we yes. not already there? No. Are we not already at the stage where we, be, we, we, we move? Because that's what I, I've engaged the mayor, the Accra mayor here mm. on this show before, and that was exactly what he said. He said there was actually a pilot. I know. There is a pilot going on. But there, have you asked, how many uh, compactors do we have? When we, the trucks that we have, when we have segregated our waste mm -hmm. and we go to pick it, how do we pick it? Do we, we have different? Together. Thank you. Oh, so, Zoom Lion has reached a point where we have um, what you call um, recycling plants. Okay. And some of these, when you put it together and you get there, the sorting happens there. Okay. So, uh, it's not so much as in sorting it up now, it's a matter of putting it in a receptacle as the first point, you know. And waste management is a culture. You know, they say culture is a way of people. That is why you can go to UK. The, the, those who have lived there for long learn to segregate their waste. But right. typical us, <laughs> we want to be Ghanaian. And well, that's, that's the start. Any, anyway, well, well, let's hear from the uh, Minister for Sanitation, Cecilia Dapa. He's been speaking to us about the proposals to ban plastics. I don't know how effective that will be. But elsewhere, countries have done it. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you, you, pick, you pick it and just implement. You look at your special situation. But let's hear the minister. When we come back, we'll wrap up the conversation. I'm not prepared to comment on it now. We are working out modalities of some sort. But we cannot stand here and say we are going to ban plastics. All the taxes, the, those manufacturers, you know, and what is happening. But we, need, we, we throw them out. So we, we are engaging them on a higher level. So. Well, that looks quite dismissive. <laughs> it looks as though she wasn't necessarily uh, willing to answer that question. An important question, I will say it is. But let's leave that there for now. That's a conversation for another day. Another uh, day. Let me just take your wrap-up comments. I'm, I'm really praying and hoping that this campaign works because I, I believe that the Pentecost Church is... Is, I, I have a thing for the Pentecost Church, oh, so I believe, in fact, our boss is a Pentecost Church member, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not just the reason why. I believe that when the church gets into the, uh, this fight against waste and filth, yeah. we will succeed. And so I'm really hoping and praying that the church succeeds. But yeah. I want to find out from Zoom Lion, even though we've heard from the Pentecost Church, what are your own targets? What is it that you want to see after this campaign has ended? We want to see every household having a bin. In Ghana? In Ghana. And our children learning that whenever you, you, you create waste, you put it in a bin. Every household must have a bin. And right from childhood, children should learn to dispose of their waste in a bin. Okay. That is one very important thing. If after one year, mm. two years, every household begins to use their bins for what they're supposed to because you know bins are because isn't that, if you said the whole ghana yes. isn't that that's difficult to measure because so, at the end so of the day we won't be able to hold you to account to and say everybody okay you want to start from a because if you, you take a specific place to say kokumlimli you want to make sure that every household in kokumlimli then we can go to kokumlimli and check every household and make sure that they okay have a let bin. me make it simple for you please so the joy for us mm -hmm. is the fact that we are on board Church of Pentecost program. Okay. You know why? Church of Pentecost has a membership over 2.6 million. million. Okay. If we can get every member of Church of Pentecost to have a bin, mm -hmm. and in collaboration with the chairman and, the, and, and Apostle Gapeto's team, the plan is that every mission house, every church premise should have a bin. It's a good target. Okay. If every if every one of these two point six million people mm. have a bin, my dear, we are the light of the world. We are the salt. We should be able to affect the people around us. I hear you. Hallelujah. Let me come back to <laughs> let me come back to uh, Apostle here. Yeah. Uh, have you contacted other churches to bring them on board so that it's not just a Church of Pentecost thing? Yes. So um, on a documentary that we showed this morning. We had the president of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Churches okay. speaking, um, Reverend Professor Frempon. So, I mean, our chairman is taking the, the vision document to the GPCC for discussion and for possible adoption. Okay. But we have asked our pastors that at the various levels, we have local council of churches. Once we get to the community and want to roll out, they should engage with the local council of churches and then we'll move it out from there. Interesting. When yeah. does it end? Okay, so it's a full year's 
um, um, campaign. Okay. It's rolled out in November, and we will do a mid-year evaluation in um, July, and then we will end it in November 2019. Okay. But for the next five years, every year we will highlight an issue that directly relates to environmental care campaign. And the hashtag is Clean Ghana? Clean Ghana. Clean Ghana. So what, what are you hoping to achieve with the hashtag, though? Right. So, I mean, thankfully, by the grace of God, we have over 460,000 followers on Facebook. Okay. And so we're going to use um, Facebook to promote the attitudinal change that we're looking forward to. Right. So if we get all people coming on board and they're able to take just a few messages we post on there, they would make a great impact. I wish uh, you all the best with Thank this you. particular campaign and hopefully at the end of the day we'll all be counting the successes much more than the losses or the disappointment, I must say, because sanitation is a big deal and it is an overwhelming problem indeed. Thank you very much for coming. Thank Sophia you. Lisa is Head of Communications for the Jospon Group of Companies of which Joy, um, I almost said Joy News, <laughs> of which Zoom Lion is a part and then Apostle Samuel Gafeto is in charge of the campaign. They're looking to start a whole year's campaign, the Pentecost Church, looking to start a whole year's campaign that focuses on dealing with filth uh, in our communities. Filth that's making us all smelly. They believe that it is not becoming of Christians that we are. Thank you very much for coming. Thank, Thank you. you so much. For that. The news.